Wave interference in a ripple tank. Learning objectives. Show constructive and destructive interference. Graphically demonstrate what a ripple's interference and relay this type of interference with light waves. If you need a review about ripple tank parts of the operation and a couple of examples of our ripple tank labs, please uh, check our video, Lesson 7, Diffraction of Waves. For this application, we need the ripple tank wave generation generator with a two-point source attachment. Using the just one point source, we are going to generate waves that are circular and they are traveling outward from the source. Nothing surprising here. But if I add a second source of ripples, then we start to get an interesting pattern that is showing this picture. At these ripples overlap, you get a series of dark and bright areas. This video illustrates the two point source interference that we can see here the region with dark lines and uh, dark and bright areas. I didn't have a video to show. This pattern is created by the ripples from two sources interacting with each other. To find out the origin of this pattern, let me show how to represent the shadow geometrically from both circular waves. The bright circular lines are the crests and the dark lines are the troughs. This is a single circular wave. The crest is represented by the red line and the trough is represented by the blue line. Now this picture shows two circular waves overlapping. And this picture shows just the top part of the overlapping waves. And we are going to try to figure out why in this region we have that dark and bright areas. Now remember that when we have two waves traveling phase, we have a constructive interference. And we have two waves traveling out of phase, we have a destructive interference. Why are we are saying this? Because those two waves, they are independent waves. They are produced by sources, two independent sources, and they are traveling at the same time in the same median. So those, some areas, they are in phase and some they are out of phase. And we need to relate this with constructive and destructive interference to explain the dark areas and the bright areas. So when a crest, cross with crest, crest with crest, so we have constructive interference, troughs with troughs, troughs with troughs, we have constructive interference. And when we have a crest with trough, crest with trough, we have a destructive interference. So on this picture, we are going to try to um, find the intersection between crest with crest. Let's find this one first. So I can see here crest with crest, crest with crest, crest with crest, crest with crest, and so on. So let's mark those, those intersections. Crest with crest, crest with crest. Let's mark all the intersections that we see crest with crest. Now let's connect troughs with troughs. So this one is trough with trough, trough with trough, this one too. All these. Okay, so now we can see that we can connect those dots because they are kind of lined up together. And we are going to use this arrow to connect them. 
So we connect to all. So this arrow represents the areas of constructive interference, where crests meet with crests and troughs meet, meet with troughs. Now let's find where we have areas where crests meet with crests, um, crests meet with troughs. So we can find like this, this, this one crest with troughs. So we connect all and you can see they are kind at the same line so we can connect them by using arrow so we're going to connect all those blue dots and those are areas of destructive interference now the explanation of their overlapping area so the bright areas are where crests meet with crests and troughs with troughs the amplitude of the waves are increased. They are areas of constructive interference. So if you look here, you see this area, the amplitude is greater than the area around it. The dark areas are where crests meet with crests and troughs. The dark area, let me rephrase. The dark areas are where crests meet with troughs and the amplitude of the waves are canceled and those are areas of destructive interference so now we are relating the pattern that we observe in our ripple tank with wave interference um constructive and destructive interference so this this picture show like a graphic demonstration of the region that we are trying to understand why we see this pattern. This pattern is also observed with light waves. And the wave nature of light has been demonstrated by using an experiment similar with the one observed with double source wave generator. Um, in this case, we use double slit or is two openings. This experiment was performed by Thomas Young, 1801. Um, this is a bad example how this works. So this is, we have a single source of light, red light, for example. Um, it's called coherent waves because they are in phase and they are traveling and they are going to pass this screen with two slits. And this is a screen where we are going to observe the pattern. So we, on this screen, we see this pattern right here with bright and dark pattern. So the bright one is the area of constructive interference and the dark one is area of destructive interference. Another view of this screen is this picture. So we have here areas with bright and dark, bright and dark, bright and dark, that shows constructive interference and destructive interference in this picture. And this is just show like a bland color because we have here just one single slit or opening. So there is no formation of the um, constructive interference and destructive interference. Now, with this experiment um, was proved that light behave as a wave. In conclusion, water waves diffraction generated by two point source in a ripple tank has an interesting pattern that only constructive and destructive interference can explain. The overlapping region has a distinguished bright and dark areas. The bright areas demonstrate constructive interference when crests meet with crests and troughs meet with troughs is not showing here, but the resultant wave have higher amplitude. The dark areas demonstrate destructive interference when crests meet with troughs and cancel each other. This phenomenon explains the wave nature of light for an experiment using 
a monochromatic light passing through a double slit screen, producing bright and dark areas, just like the ones observed with water waves. So this is um, constructive, constructive and destructive interference applied in a ripple tank lab. Thanks for watching.